Today we speak about microbiota, but in general, how many are they? As uh, uh, Alberto said, uh, there are almost two to three kilos in our body, and four to five tons hectare in the soil. In only one gram of soil, we can find uh, 10 million of microorganisms, and in some way, we can say that uh, for every cubic meter of soil, we can have uh, 3.5 kilos of alive biomass only in the first 50 centimeters, okay? There is a strong interaction between the plants and the microorganisms, and the role of biochemistry around this matching is not totally delivered. Furthermore, in a recent study from the Padua University, Squartini, Concheri, and Pauletti professors, after a DNA sequencing, find 56,045 taxas in only 12 vineyards in Veneto region. In fact, for many years, we have considered only the chemical and the physical characteristics of the soil, but soil is alive, and bacteria have a fundamental role in plant growth. The plant growth promotion rhizobacteria, PZPR, can in the first time immobilize the macro and the micro nutrients of the soil, such as a tank, okay? that, in second time, release through the bioavailability and mobilization the elements in the soil. The plant growth promotion rhizobacteria can increase the bioavailability of the elements that are immobilized in the soil. They can fix nitrogen naturally, solubilize the phosphorus, and stimulate the production of growing hormones, like the auxins, the cytokinins, and the gibberellins. Another important function is the degradation of the ethylene, producing the root after a water excess. When in vineyard we have a water excess, excess the plant, the root, produces ethylene. The plant is blocked. So they help the vine to recover from this stress. They play also a fundamental role in increasing increasing the resistance to water stress. Another study of Padua University demonstrates that vines inoculated with Pantoa glomerans and Bacillus licheniformis that were modified with genes that encoded the fluorescent protein GFP have increased the resistance to water stress. So the result was that the plant inoculated with this bacteria resistance to water stress more than the plants that had not been inoculated. It means that if in our vineyard we have plants with a lot of quantity of endophytes, plants very rich in endophytes, they can withstand less. They can resist more to, to stress water. So the result was that the plant inoculated and another important thing is that the plant with bacteria in the feeds have a better photosynthetic metabolism in water stress condition. This is an example of two grafted vines put without water, okay, for two weeks with a high temperature, about upper to 51 uh, centigrade degrees. So, we have a lot of population of these microorganisms in the soil, and these populations are different from soil to soil. So why we inoculate different species of bacteria and mycorrhiza in our vineyard? Why not stimulate those are already present in our soil? This is a very important thing. Blue Agri is a new company that has developed an innovative technology from peptide amino acid base, able to stimulate the metabolism of the native population of the soil. In fact, only a few parts of the total microorganism population are helpful or pathogens. About 90% of microorganisms in the soil have a variable metabolism and it depends on viticultural practice. 
Using Blue Vitae, we stimulate the metabolisms of all the population into the helpful metabolisms and the plant for the plant. With this, we can stabilize the ecosystem for a long lasting period and restore the microbiological fertility of the soil. This is a time lapse where you can see the effects of the application of Blue Vitae. One month in one minute. The treated is on your right. So the grafted vines have a uh, better root system and increase uh, better the, the growth of, uh, of the shoots. So the main effect of the use of Blue Vitae is the stimulus to the root system. The consequence of the better development of the root system and therefore a higher number of interaction um, from bacteria to roots uh, result in a continuous supply of water and nutrients to the plants. So the benefits uh, are from roots to canopy. In these years of research, we obtained many results. These are the effects of root systems. Mm, normally, we obtain a higher production of um, secondary roots. These are the results uh, we obtain uh, in this year, Rauschedo nurseries, on Glera with uh, cover 5BB rootstock, grafted vines. In this case, the main result is the full elimination, okay, of the naphthalene acetic acid hormones in the, graft, uh, in the grafted vine production. This is the effect on the microbiota by application of Blue Vitae in a new planting vineyard of uh, Pinot Grigio. We measured the same vine in a month. You can appreciate that the spud increase and the higher content of chlorophyll due to the mobilization of the elements. In this Pinot Gris, the regularity of the internodes reflect the root system activity. So another effect is the bigger diameter of the shoots. But the more important things to say is that uh, this vigor, okay, is a natural vigor. It's not comparable with the uh, vigor from uh, a nitrogen fertilizer, okay? For example, on the leaf, we have the same effect, uh, the increase of the thickness of the leaf. An healthier and balanced plant from roots to canopy makes a better variation and development of a grape. On the left, we have a grape for, from a vineyard, also Pinot Grigio, fertilized with ammonium sulfate and foliar fertilizer. On the right, the vineyard fertilized only with Blue Vitae for two years, okay, without any other fertilizer. The better root system can increase the nutrition of a grape in hot and dry climates. The results are grapes that don't lose weight, acidity, and yeast available nitrogen. This is a Garganega variety, and is an example of a long-term effect of Blue Vitae, explicable by the continuous effects year by year. And this is the same uh, results uh, in uh, Valpolicella varieties. In general, we obtain uh, the same results uh, in different uh, varieties and in different type of soil. In this case, uh, we, we do an observation of a section, okay, of the branches, and uh, it clearly shows uh, that a greater presence of phloem, uh, tracheids, 
and vascular bundles better fit for zaptran location rather than tracheas, better fit for water and salt translocation. All these results uh, in better nourishment for the plants, apigen organs, and stronger resistance to water stress. Blue Vite has shown its capability of boosting a good lignification with an optimal diameter of branches. No sign of excess strength has been recorded, which usually appears with the use of fertilizer at high uh, uh, nitrogen content. What do we find in the analysis? The analysis shown that we already mentioned. In the treated, we obtain a higher content of tartaric and malic acid, and this, uh, we obtain this uh, in all our trials, and this is an important response uh, to climate change. We also observed uh, that the YAN, the yeast available nitrogen, uh, are higher. And these are the analysis of uh, Garganega, I already shown, and uh, the standard, okay, shows uh, an acidity of uh, 4.90 grams per liter. The first year treated uh, 5.2. Uh, 30, and the second treated 5.60. We have also observed a lower content of potassium due to a better nitrogen metabolism. So, in conclusion, microbiota will have a key role in the next years to help viticulture after climate change. I think is uh, the very most uh, important uh, role of microbiota. After five years, we can say that thanks to the stimulation of microbiota, it's possible to reduce chemical fertilization more than 50%. I have trials with, uh, where we obtain a reduce of uh, uh, 100%. Combining microbiota and organic farming uh, is possible to guarantee excellent quality production and respecting the, the environment and reducing pollution. So thank you for attention, and if you have any answer, I'm here.